What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to save a startup file in Blender so that you have the same settings and preferences every time you open up the program. This can allow you to customize everything from your add-ons to the model that's loaded, other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is the default scene that Blender is gonna load every time that you open up Blender, right? It's gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna have a light, a cube, and a camera in it, really nothing else. And so what I want to do is there's really two things I want to do. So first off, I want to set this up so that it opens up my model. Instead of the default cube model, I want something else to load up when I first load this up. I also want to show you how to set your preferences as default so that um, your loaded add-ons and other things like that are going to load based on your settings rather than what comes default with Blender. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a model file that I've created. So I always like to have my Bonnie model. So Bonnie's my border collie. And this is the default model that I like to have inside of Blender when I first open it up. And so what I've done is I've basically come in here and this is a very simple model. So it just has my Bonnie model in here and it has a camera and nothing else. And so what I want to do is I want this to open every time that I open up Blender. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to file defaults and I'm going to click on the button for save startup file and then I'm going to click on this and what that means is that means that now if I close out a blender and then I open it back up you can see how this is going to load this Bonnie file in here however I don't like the way this is navigating there's some things having to do with the preferences that I'm not really a giant fan of so I'm going to go in and make some changes there so that my default preferences load as well so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to edit preferences and I'm going to make a few changes. So first off I want to keep my navigation as orbit around selection. I also want zoom to mouse position set up and then there's some add-ons that I want to have loaded as well. So one in particular is the screencast keys add-on and so this is an add-on that I've used in the past to show my keys in the lower left hand corner and so what I want to do is I've installed it from a third party location or from a separate location but I want to enable screencast keys in my preferences like this and then I currently want to turn off flip fluids and I want to turn off vegetation so I want to set these and save them so that now I'm gonna have screencast keys over here and so I just want to click on the button right here for save preferences like this and what that's gonna do is that's gonna set my preferences up so that those preferences load whenever I load up blender so if I close out of this and then I open it back up, you can see how now my default model is in here, which is what I want, and also it's loading screencast keys. So now I have a default file that's gonna load every time I open up Blender that has the model that I want, as well as the add-ons that I want loaded from my preferences. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. I know it seems like a simple thing, but if you can get your model file set up along with your preferences the way that you want them, it can be a huge time saver to save those as a default file instead of having to go back and reset them up every time that you open up Blender. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about this. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.